They are the largest animals to have ever lived, truly colossal beings that dwarf even the largest dinosaurs. Imagine an animal so immense, so breathtaking in scale, that it redefines our understanding of life on Earth. Giants of the deep, masters of their underwater realm, navigating the crushing pressures and frigid temperatures with unparalleled grace. They are the embodiment of the ocean's power and mystery. With hearts the size of cars, these magnificent organs pump life-sustaining blood through their massive bodies, a testament to the sheer biological marvel that is the blue whale. Each beat echoes the rhythm of the ocean itself, and voices that once echoed across oceans their complex songs traveling for hundreds, even thousands of miles, connecting individuals and populations in a symphony of the sea. These calls were the lifeblood of their society. For millennia these gentle giants have roamed the seas, Blue whales have been the pulse of a healthy ocean, playing a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of marine ecosystems, their presence a sign of vitality and resilience. Their songs connecting life across vast distances, weaving a web of communication that binds together the diverse inhabitants of the underwater world. They are the storytellers of the sea, but now, that pulse is fading, the once vibrant rhythm of the ocean growing fainter with each passing year, a silence is spreading, a void where once there was song. Across the globe, blue whales are going silent, their haunting melodies disappearing from the underwater soundscape, leaving behind an eerie emptiness. Hydrophones reveal a chilling truth. The underwater microphones that listen to the ocean's symphony are picking up less and less of their calls. Their calls are vanishing, swallowed by the noise and the changes that plague our oceans, leaving behind an unsettling quiet, a stark reminder of what we stand to lose if we fail to protect these magnificent creatures. This silence is more than an ecological anomaly, it's a symptom of a deeper malaise, a sign that our oceans are in distress. It's a warning, a desperate plea from the heart of the ocean, urging us to listen before it's too late. The question is no longer just what is happening to them, but why, and what does their plight tell us about the health of our planet, but what are we doing to our world? Are our actions contributing to this silence? And if so, can we change course before it's irreversible? Are we witnessing the final act, the tragic end of a story that has unfolded for millions of years, of the ocean's greatest voice? Or can we rewrite the ending and ensure that their songs continue to echo across the oceans for generations to come? For decades, scientists have relied on underwater microphones, also known as hydrophones, as essential tools for studying marine life. These sophisticated devices allow us to eavesdrop on the hidden conversations of the ocean. Primarily, these hydrophones are used to track the hauntingly beautiful songs of blue whales, powerful low-frequency calls that once resonated throughout the ocean, connecting individuals across vast distances. These calls were a constant presence, a symphony of the sea. But now, the symphony is faltering and the ocean soundscape is changing in alarming ways. In places where whale calls were once a constant reliable signal, there's now an eerie quiet, a void where vibrant communication used to thrive. Dr. Anya Sharma, a leading marine biologist, reports a staggering 90% drop in vocal activity in the North Atlantic over just two years. This rapid decline is deeply concerning to researchers. The whales are still seen, observed by researchers and whale watching tours, but their voices are missing, creating a disturbing disconnect. This isn't just a local issue confined to a single region. Similar silences or significant reductions in whale vocalizations are being reported worldwide from the Arctic to the Antarctic. Without their songs, which play a crucial role in communication, how will whales find mates and continue their populations? Or how will they navigate their ancient migration routes passed down through generations? The silence is a black box, a mystery that we must urgently unravel, a sign that something is profoundly wrong within the delicate balance of our marine ecosystems. The science is clear. The ocean's greatest voice is disappearing at an alarming rate, and we may be running out of time to understand and reverse this devastating trend. We need to act now to protect these magnificent creatures and the ocean they call home. Scientists suspect a perfect storm of human pressures is silencing the whales. Noise pollution from ships, seismic blasts and sonar drowns out their calls, making communication nearly impossible. Climate change is shifting krill populations, forcing whales into new, unfamiliar waters and nutritional stress. Chemical pollutants and microplastics may be causing unseen harm. The ocean's vastness now hides the evidence making the crisis harder to solve. Their silence is not a choice. 
It's a desperate response to a hostile environment. We have changed the character of the ocean, and the world's largest animal is struggling to survive. The silence of blue whales, it's a profound absence in a world that once resonated with their powerful songs. These gentle giants, the largest creatures on earth, are slowly fading from the soundscape of our oceans. This growing silence is not just a loss for marine biodiversity, it is an existential alarm for humanity, a stark warning echoing across the vast expanse of the sea. It's a call to action that we can no longer afford to ignore. As indicator species, these magnificent creatures serve as a barometer for the health of our planet. Their distress signals a sick ocean, a body of water increasingly burdened by pollution, acidification, and the relentless pressures of human activity. It's one that can no longer support life as we know it, a grim testament to our unsustainable practices. The consequences of our actions are becoming increasingly clear. The same forces silencing whales, the chemical and noise pollution, the warming waters, are bleaching reefs, turning vibrant ecosystems into ghostly graveyards. They're depleting fish populations at an alarming rate, disrupting the delicate balance of the marine food web, and ultimately, altering our climate, unleashing a cascade of environmental changes that threaten the stability of our world. We are not separate from this crisis, we are intrinsically linked to the fate of the oceans and all its inhabitants. Our fate is inextricably tied to theirs and their struggle for survival mirrors our own. The silence is a warning, a deafening cry for help from a world on the brink. It's a clear signal that we must change course. Now, before it's too late to reverse the damage we've inflicted. This is about more than saving whales. It's about preserving the intricate web of life that sustains us all. Ultimately, it's about saving ourselves, about ensuring a future where both humanity and nature can thrive. If we ignore this warning, if we continue down this path of destruction, we risk a much lonelier world, a desolate planet stripped of its beauty and vitality. The quiet ocean could soon be our own reflection, a mirror reflecting back our own emptiness and despair. We stand at a crossroads hearing an ocean grow quieter by the day. The fading song of the blue whale is a plea for us to reflect and act. The causes are ours, so are the solutions. We must demand action cut carbon emissions, regulate ocean noise, and protect marine habitats. Our voices united can drive change. The future of the blue whale and our own depends on what we do next. Let's turn this silence into a global call to action.